Hey guys, welcome to the review of um, the HTC One XL with Tosra. I've just received my handset today, and uh, the purpose of this video is to help those who want to root this ROM or unlock the bootloader or want or those who are having troubles flashing a recovery manager. The One X has no problem with this, but the one XL, the Telstra version, the 32 gigabyte model, 4G phone, currently has uh, problems. No problems and such, but it's not yet fully supported. But um, I just found uh, some solutions online um, that can help you get started. So um, the first thing I'm gonna show you is uh, how to root the phone. Uh, how did I do that? Okay, so um, I used the guide from Ozdroid. You can see the URL there, right at the top. But I'm just gonna go with you, just gonna go through it with you guys. So this guide will have all the instructions. It's the one I followed. So first of all, you download the HTC drivers. But uh, you may already have HTC Sync installed on your computer. If you have HTC Sync installed on your computer, you don't need to download the drivers. Okay, yeah, so before you attempt this procedure, just uh, try and connect your phone to the computer in both USB mode, in charge only mode, and uh, the mass storage mode so it gets installed on your computer. Okay, so once you've done step one of installing the drivers, you download this zip file over here, and um, I already have it downloaded there. I'll just show you what will be inside. Okay. Um, let me just close that and so these are the files that will be inside the the zip file from step number two on Austroid website see what I did there okay so after doing that I you extract all these files here and put them in a folder that's easy I would recommend uh, putting them um, in your C drive so I'm just gonna go to my computer go C drive and make a folder called Android like that there and extract all of them in there don't mind all these other files they are, they are from other processes but uh, just uh, click highlight all of these and drag them so that they will be extracted in in your C drive or Android it can be any folder you want but uh, I, I, I chose just to do that it can be any folder you want really once you have done that, uh, you go over to step 4 where you connect your HTC One XL via USB. I'm just gonna... By the way, I'm recording this video using my the phone that I just replaced, my HTC Sensation. I only got it last year, but uh, it was too early to upgrade, but uh, the HTC One X looked like such a beauty. Okay, so I have that connected. And uh, make sure USB debugging mode is on. This can be shown by that icon there. I'll show you how to put it on if you don't have it on. So um, you're going to leave it in charge only mode. If it's not in charge only mode, click it there. And make sure you click charge only. This one here. Okay, so I have mine in charge mode only. I'm just going to click down. Awesome. Then I'm going to head over to settings. Damn it, I'm trying to straighten things out here. Okay. Um, so to make sure USB debugging mode is on, the one shown by the Android icon between the USB and the Gmail icon, you go over to your app drawer, go to settings. Once you open settings there, scroll all the way down to developer options. Just click on developer options there and right at the top there you see where it says USB debugging mode so make sure that that option there is ticked once you have that ticked just exit that and uh, we go back to the guide and proceed to step 6 so step 6 says uh, okay we've already done step 6 okay the next step which is 
the routing part of it is just a matter of running the files we extracted and we sit back and relax. As a precaution, just make sure your phone is fully charged before you attempt this, okay? Because uh, at the moment you can't charge um, in in recovery mode or boot manager, whatever it is. Okay, so we go to that folder. In my case, I said I put mine in C Android. Okay, so now you're gonna look for the icon, um, the file called root dot bat the batch file and uh and so in my c android i just go to the root dot bat remember this file came from this folder in whatever zip manager you have there that i extracted from there okay so you just double click that one and yes the routing should start do not touch your phone until uh, say a minute to your phone will reboot a couple of times I'm not gonna do this process again since I've already done it so yeah that's how you root your phone um, make sure before you do this uh, I'm not sure if you have to unlock your bootloader first or not uh, okay so this is nothing to do with the bootloader, bootloader. But anyway, I'm look out. Um, um, if you continue to watch, I'm gonna show you how to unlock your bootloader using the HTC website. So yeah, that's basically the process of routing your phone. Once you double click that file that I showed you, it will complete the routing pep, uh process for you and you just have to wait don't touch your phone okay it might reboot about three or four times just let it finish doing what it's doing then when you think it's all done yeah should be done and by the way while it's rooting um a command window will come up that will show some processes going through but uh mine is heaps of other processes there okay thank you that was for rooting your phone now we're gonna go to the option of unlocking your bootloader okay so um, in your web browser just type um, HTC dev yeah so the official website is wait let me just wait for it to load Chrome can be really slow sometimes Anyway, yeah, so the official website is htcdev.com. Once you are there on the home page, click on unlock, unlock bootloader. Then you click on get started. And um, if you don't have an account with them, you should create an account. Otherwise, it's not allow you to complete this pro process unless you have created an account. But I already have my account created with that. So it will let me go well. Alright, so once you click get started, this screen will show. Then now uh, on the supported devices there, uh, just scroll down there to see. Uh, you notice the HTC One X isn't on the list, the HTC One XL, but uh, it says here that devices launched after 9 2011 will be shipped with unlock capability. So our devices qualifies for that since it was released after 2011 so you go all the way to all other supported models you click that then you click begin unlock bootloader um, now I had troubles with this uh, not responding well it was pretty slow but uh, the next the next pros, uh, procedures that follow are pretty straightforward it will ask you to uh, copy files into um, create an example file like uh, the one I did here where I did C Android then uh, it will suggest it will tell you which files you need to extract into this folder and once you have them in there uh, anyway it's pretty straightforward just click that there and you'll be sweet with it after and um, during the process you get to a point where you Let me see if I can zoom that on. Okay. 
Yeah, so in the bootloader, it will tell you to do this where you uh, specify the directory of the files you extracted from the instructions and I tell you to type in this command afterwards. Once doing that, all this message will come out there. So you are supposed to copy from that's right click mark and start from the forward arrow there where it says identify a token start up to identify a token end. So make sure you just um, copy this. I just used control C to copy. If you try and right click it, uh, yeah, it fails. So you just use control C to copy. This is the stuff that you then paste on the on their website where they ask you if you follow the guides there. By the way, this process is just for unlocking your bootloader. This is totally different to what I was telling you earlier about routing your phone. Okay? Yeah, so they will email you a file which you will then flash to your phone and yeah, your device will be unlocked. I'll just show you here. Um, you can see here, it's a Telstra phone. You can see the date and time. And I'll, and I'll just show you that my bootloader is unlocked. I'll just reboot into bootloader. So um, an easy way of booting bootloader, just click restart. And while it's restarting, I'll just hold the volume button. In this case, I'm holding the volume down button. So just keep holding that while it's restarting. Okay, you notice that it says unlocked, and at the same time, uh, looks like it's a new thing with HTC, where they want if you do mess up your phone through routing or something like that, uh, they're able to tell if this has been tempered. But I'm sure the developers will be able to find a fix for having that removed or something like that. But yeah, before I did unlock the bootloader, this thing here that says tempered wasn't there before. It only just came after I flash my thing but yeah you can see I've unlocked my Telstra version you can see my radio version and uh, date blah 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 so yeah that's how you unlock your bootloader so thanks for that uh, the next thing is I'll show you is how to flash a recovery manager I would really recommend that you flash a recovery manager before you start installing any other ROMs or do any major modifications and make a backup of your Telstra ROM should you ever need to take it for service you can install the back one uh, the stock ROM and hopefully they won't notice that it has been rooted but yeah it's always good to uh, do a backup so to install a recovery manager and you can only do this after a you have unlocked your bootloader and or you have your phone rooted I think yeah what did I do for that one hang on okay yeah to flash my recovery I I followed this link here guys can look at it um, I think I'll post it in the video description but uh, from this website here I was able to find a tool that allows that flashes uh, clockwork, clockwork mode recovery on your HTC One XL uh, you should know that uh, the AT&T version of HTC One X is actually the One XL they make things a bit confusing for other people, but um, this is actually the HTC. It's ANT TNT's equivalent of Telstra's uh, One XL. The difference only being um, the Telstra version is 32 gigabytes, yet the AT&T version is 16 gigabytes, 16.16. Okay, so it has instructions there. Um, we've already done step one of unlocking our bootloader. Then you should download the the recovery zip here, which I've already downloaded there. I'm just gonna open it so we can see what's inside it. And uh, 
this is it here so you can see there's the clockwork uh, I'll just take off this notification you see the clockwork mode uh, image there install batch fast boot the same drivers there uh, make sure you copy all these okay uh, and like I did I put them in my the the C Android folder you can just copy and paste all of them there and if you get a notification about overwriting yeah just click proceed and overwrite so copy all these files there put them into any folder of your choice extract them put them in the folder of choice once you have done that um, we follow step number four where you plug your your HTC One X into your computer via USB okay and uh, they recommend that you plug this into the back of your desktop PC if you are using a desktop PC okay then uh, you should enable debugging mode that I've already showed you make sure that it's on uh, place the phone in charge mode only I've shown you how to do that then the next step will just be clicking the install batch file there just double click that and it does everything for you it will be finished and yeah you have clockwork mode uh, flashed over there so I'll, I'll just show you on my phone just to prove that I've actually been successful in flashing clockwork mode okay so using the volume okay let me just turn my flash on so using the volume button press down there to go to recovery you press the power button to select recovery okay now reboots there and uh, first time I got this funny message here which got me scared a bit but uh, I'm not sure if you guys are gonna get it or not but you might and yeah there's clockwork mode recovery there and I've already made a backup of my ROM I'll just show you in there if I click restore and you can see there's a backup that I've already made there which means I've been successful so yeah, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.